Hello, 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 oh, oh, good morning, I am tired as fuck, man, and not, um, I'll cuss of work, but because, you know, I'm still kind of sick, you know, uh, physically, you know, I think I might have caught in a stomach bug, but yeah, good morning, and you're listening to Casey Genesis in the AM. I'm your host, Casey Genesis. Uh, hope, well, I really don't think it's COVID, but uh, since it feels more like a stomach, like a bug, like a stomach bug or whatever, I'm going to a bathroom or that. I know TMI. I apologize. You know, but yeah, just. Uh, it's been a, a pun intended, but I've been in a really shitty mood. Also, I apologize for that. TMI. But speaking of COVID, who's all tired of COVID? I am. I'm very tired of it. Uh, I wish it would go away. I wish it hurry up and go away. But unfortunately, uh, there's some new COVID variant. And the USA Today says there may be a new COVID variant, and it's called a Delta Cron. It's a mixture of Omicron and Delta uh, variants. Here's what we should know about it. A potential new COVID variant, a combination of the Delta and Omicron variants, you can call it Delta Cron, has been identified. The World Health Organization said Wednesday the new COVID-19 combination has been det- detected in France, the Netherlands, and Denmark. It's also been found in the U.S. Yay, yes! Woohoo! According to a new report soon to be published on research site MedRx and, uh, and viewed by USA Today. Um, and I guess here's a video on virus mutations explained. Let's uh, take a listen, shall we? It's multiplied by making copies of itself, but it doesn't care whether or not those copies are accurate. These changes are known as mutations. Here's how they happen. Some viruses have double-stranded DNA as their genetic material, while others, like SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, are composed of single-stranded RNA. Most DNA viruses, like herpes and smallpox, replicate inside the nucleus of the cell they're infecting and have a proofreading function when copying cells. RNA viruses replicate in the outer regions of the cell and do not have the proofreading function, making mistakes more common. Once the RNA virus makes contact with a host, it starts to make new copies of itself. But when it does this, it can make mistakes in the copying process that slightly changes the virus. The mutated virus goes on to create other cells, sometimes mutating again and again, leaving mistakes and creating new variants of the virus. Although copying mistakes happen all the time, they rarely add up to big changes in function. But sometimes they create substantial changes that make the disease more or less dangerous or infectious or make vaccines or therapies ineffective. That's why the flu requires getting a new vaccine every year. And HIV mutates so frequently, it's been impossible so far to develop a vaccine against it. The good news is the virus that causes COVID-19 mutates more slowly than the flu and HIV, which means a vaccine is likely to remain effective longer. And there you have it. Uh, Virus mutations explained. Thank you for the USA Today. And continuing on. The San Mateo, uh, California headquarters lab, Helix, which works with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to track COVID-19 sequence 29,719 positive COVID samples collected November 22, 2021 uh, to February 13, 2022 from across the U.S. According to the research team, which included the University of Washington Medical Center and testing company Thermo Fisher Scientific. And, uh, researchers found two infections involving different versions of Delta Crown 
and resulting from the combination of Delta and Omicron genetic material. 20 other infections have both the Delta and the Omicron variants, with one case having Delta, Omicron, and Delta Cron. Wait, so all three can exist at the same time? Uh, that's, that's what it feels like I'm hearing, I'm reading. The all three can uh, exist at the same time. Should we be, should we worry about the Delta Cron? Um, the news says, not right now, compared to variants such as Delta and Omicron, this new variation researchers have not adopted the Delta Cron name officially appears not likely to spread, said William Lee, the chief science officer at Helix. They say not right now. Man. At this point, you know, this COVID took so many lives, man. So many lives that could have been prevented two years ago. If only one man was smart enough to prevent that shit and not call it a hoax. I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna say any names, but you know, just in case if there's any conservatives are watching that guy his name is Trump Donald J. Trump uh, he is to blame for this yes the red that red headed fat bitch that uh, was the president back in 2020 you know who I'm talking about not the current president but the, the, the president before Biden yeah that fat bitch yeah, just just letting y'all know. I know how those, I know, I know how these comes, I know how these conservatives are. Uh, you know, they like to blame everything on the current president, especially if you know the previous president. You know, had anything to do with it. You know, you know, such as Donald J. Donald J. Trump, the the previous president. He caused all this. So, yeah, now, now, try again, conservatives. Try again. He is to blame for this. He could have prevented it. He could have saved, you know, a bunch of lives, I believe. Although, I, I, I don't really think that, you know, um, I don't really think that it would have prevented it from coming into the U.S., but I believe it could have prevented lots of uh, lives taken. You know, that's what I believe. <sighs> but um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. Practice safety. You know. Put on your mask. Uh, keep your distance. Get tested. Get your vaccines. Two shots and a booster. Just do anything. Just do the necessary to prevent this virus from spreading to your loved ones, to your friends. Almost everyone. Okay, especially while you're in the grocery stores too, put on your mask. If the, if the door sign says mask needs, you know, is required, then put that on before you go into the grocery store and spreading your nasty ass diseases. And just any old store or place that you go inside, you know, if, it, if the door says put the, push your mask on, push your damn mask on. It will help me, who is at high risk. Yeah, uh, if if me having a uh, you know a heart condition, I'm a uh, you know it. That would be nice. That would be nice. Luckily, I haven't gotten it, or you know, I probably, I think I've been around someone that has had it in the past, but um, 
have tested negative, but I, I have my vaccinations, so you know, I'm pretty sure that prevented it. it then, uh, you know, yeah, still though, man, just be safe, man, be safe. The fact that there is not that much of it, that even the two cases we saw were different, suggests that it's probably not going to elevate to a variant of concern level and earn its own Greek letter name, he told USA Today, uh, continuing on. So far in the places where Delta Crown has been de detected, there are very low levels of this detection, said Dr. Maria Van Kirkhoff. An American infectious disease epidemiologist and uh, whose COVID-19 technical lead during a press conference today, Wednesday, um, apologies, for now who has not seen any change in epidemiology, uh, Van Kirkhoff said, in regarding Dr. Crohn, we haven't seen any change in the severity, but there are many studies that are on the way. And it just goes on and on. I'm just going to tell you this right here. Man, this shit ain't going nowhere. It's going to progress. It's going to continue on. I mean, I hate to be a pessimist, but I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. I wish it would go away, but... Realistically speaking, no, I have no hope for that. Because I don't have a, a lot of hope for people. You know. And and as years go on and on and on and on and on, you know, it's going to continue to change to a different variant. And soon we'll have a variant that's even more deadlier than the past variants. Where it's like wiping out the millions on top of millions I believe that's how, that, that's how bad it's going to it's going to get hate to say it but it, man it's just a this is our new reality and it's shaped people's way of thinking so Continue to be safe and keep your family and friends safe. Don't wait until the last minute where, you know, you, yeah, don't wait until the last minute where you get it and you're saying, oh, it's true. It's, it's, it's all real. I should have paid attention. I've heard that story. I've heard stories so many times, you know, where people, you know, said it was too late for them and. They end up dying. And it's, and it's usually the non-believers. And it's usually the non-believers that, you know, believe Donald J. Trump, the last president, said it was a hoax. You know, it, it's usually those, those people, you know, Trumpers, you know, the ones that didn't believe it. They're the ones, you know, they're the ones that called it, you know, enough. I've uh, seen stories, I've seen posts where they're like, it's all real, it's 100% real. If only I would have been safe. Then that's staying up, boom, they're dead. It's unfortunate, and I hate it that they lost their lives because of uh, their uh, ignorance. But this is what it come to, man. For saying, I'm gonna be on and on about this, and this is like my first time reviewing COVID on my podcast. The first time I'm reviewing COVID because you know these past few months I've been trying to avoid it, you know, uh, especially since you know at the beginning, well, the half of 2020, all of 2021. That's all I've been seeing, man. COVID. COVID. That's all, that's all the news have been uh, 
just providing to us COVID.